Yeah, welcome back guys. Welcome back to another video. <clears throat> yeah, so this is for me will be the last major body panel part where we'll be doing some major So uh let me quickly open the other one. Yeah. Don't save. So yeah, this is what we're going to be making. This panel right here. This one. Uh kind of forgotten how the things I did because it's been like three days since I practiced the tutorial, but I'm gonna make sure it goes pretty well. Yeah, you have nothing to worry about. So let's just go to McLaren 720S, don't save, and yeah. So we're gonna go into this part right here. First of all, let's hide of hide all these ones. Just select them and uh, press H to hide them. Before I forget, turn on screen cast keys. I think I like this color better than the other one. <clears throat> so, uh, let's go. So, we'll just select this and go in. So, we're going from the side. And we're just going to select from this one. And extrude all the way around. We're going to make it as one part on here first. Just the way we did uh, basically most of the other parts. So, before we separate it. So, let's go. So, we're just going to extrude one here. And make sure it's a straight line from here. So let's go. G move this. So we're gonna extrude one more. And then extrude one more. Yeah, this is basically what we need for now. So we'll go to the top view and also we need to hide this part. So we just hit L and uh, press H. So go to the top view and let's just arrange this to where it goes. So make sure here is also a straight line from this part. So a straight line coming from both sides so uh, put this here and put this somewhere around here so now we'll go to the side view again and take this one from the top here basically both of them because they are kind of on the same level so let's just extrude both of them and uh, press E to extrude once and then extrude twice and then extrude three times going here so let's go to the top view and see how that looks so we'll take this and move it to this side and move this one and we're gonna move this one so let me uh, gr quickly grab images that would, would be good for us so this one is already there it's <clears throat> good enough for it so let me just try to talk louder so that I won't have to increase the volume and you're getting some weird clipping issues. Let's see this one. Yeah, this one is quite all right to view. So, um, yeah, let's just continue. So move this one a little bit more to the side and let's see. So let's GG slide this one down and uh, we get something like this. Oh, we just basically delete these two vertices, the one, two last ones there. So let's see. So let's go to the top view and uh, GG slide this over to this side. Okay, don't mind me. I'm trying to remember the ways I did it so I it will be as smooth as it was in the practice. Hold on, let me just quickly check this. So this one right here. We're going to, okay, let's hide these two first. Uh, just press H, take these two vertices and move this one a little bit down. And this one too, like so. And uh, let's extrude it one more time towards here. Let's see, yeah. We wanna be able to get this curve right because I kind of failed at it in the original car. If you notice, but I'm pretty sure you won't because it's well hidden in the renders. So I believe we should merge these two together. So M and then, sorry, M and then at last. So let's go to the side view and we can adjust this a little bit more. So probably we'll get another extrusion on this side and just move it towards the end. I think this is better so just press alt h and bring back this one but still hide this one just click anywhere and then press l and then h to hide that so 
Um, these ones here, we're going to mess with them. So kind of make them go straight forward than this guy. So let's go to the top view and basically merge it with this one and M and then at last. So GG, C, and then just move it all the way here. So we can move it somewhere around here so we can get this cool stuff. See this cool uh, curve going on right, smoothly. So let's fill in this face so we can figure out what to do with this part. So take this one and then press Alt S because I can see it's moving. Uh, the pitching is going a little bit on the inside so we can just move it out. So Alt S and then bring it out a little and this one too, Alt S. Bring it out a little. Most of the things you do due to, um, when it comes to correction of your face whether it's smooth or not, you're going to be using your bare eyes to calculate things and do them nicely. So uh, I think I'm going to merge this one with this guy right here. So we're just going to press F, hit this two and then press F. So control R and add two vertices and uh, let's move them out a little bit for now and see how it goes. So take this and press F, take this and press F and this two and fill that face in. So what we're going to do here is just fill in the face to see how to be able to uh, do what we need more easily. So on this side, I'm going to use the knife tool and uh, <clears throat> okay, let me see if I can explain what I'm about to do here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, sorry, seven vertices on this face. But there is it's going to be pretty hard for us to make um, quads out of this. So the best thing to do is to try to redirect this uh, line of edge, edges towards the end here and not outside. So, so the end of the redirection will be on this vertex. So uh, let's see how we're going to do that. So take the knife tool. I really don't know what I'm going to achieve. But uh, along the way, we we'll begin to see how everything pans out. So uh, let's take this and merge it here first. That's the base of the redirection. So let's move this here a little bit and merge these two together by pressing J. Okay, it's looking sort of nice. Let's try to arrange these ones perfectly. Looking very jagged. And when you're arranging, don't uh, do it at the expense of the uh, lines we've established before because this is where the separation begins for the um, back side. So now I can see that uh, there's no uh, actually actual clear way for me to add a new um, edge, uh, add a new edge loop because I don't want to add anything here. I don't want to add anything here. I don't want to add anything here or here. Or here so we're gonna have to clear everything here without adding any edge loops so how are we going to do that so what I have in mind we're going to end up with a triangle which I don't want so let's hit J here first and see what we got <clears throat> okay We could leave this like this, but um, there is going to be some weird issues like this stupid line I'm seeing right here. So um, I think someone complained about my language. I wasn't really sure what he meant, but I'm going to try as much as possible to reduce the um, curses that I say during modeling. So the only way I can see this working is adding in an extra edge loop here which can, you know, fix the whole thing. So let's just hit K and uh, see how that goes. And yes, yeah, fixed, but not that fixed. I don't know. So the best thing we can do for this now is just to distribute the edge loops uh, evenly. Not actually evenly, okay? I think I have a call.
Okay, it was a very unnecessary call. So let's continue distributing these things quite nicely. And uh, okay, I'm quickly put my phone in silent. So I'll avoid any further distractions. So we'll move this down, and as you can see, it's uh, kind of fixed, and we have an even distribution of vertices and this place is quite smooth yeah i like it so we'll go to the top view now and take from these guys because we want the uh okay let's look here we want the transition between here and here to be nice although it's doesn't look that smooth okay it's very smooth actually very smooth so we're going to use everything here to actually correspond with the edges on this area so we just press e to extrude and then move it back on the y-axis and try to align it somewhere around here so we're just going to use the uh, gg and slide and press sorry gg and then press c to move it out on the line so gg slide in and c to constrain it to move it out and uh, this one slide it and do the same thing and press G twice C and uh, move it to the edge. We want to make sure we have a, a uh, good enough uh, stuff going on there so so select everything here go to the side view and move it let's see move it down somewhere here go to the back view and uh, kind of scale it on the z-axis a little bit I hope you guys can see this so this is the line I want to follow this is the one we just did and the line goes way down here and uh, straight to the sides but ours this one we have is kind of too curved so uh, just press scale on the and Z to scale it down a little bit so move it down and uh, let me see it's not really straight so I'm just gonna press ctrl shift alt and then s and uh, share it on the y axis so it's gonna be kind of straighter let's see okay this looks nice enough so now we have almost completed our um, what's it called fin yeah no no the spoiler yeah we almost completed the spoiler so we just press this to click this two and then press F to have an edge there. So control R in between and have one more so we can have an even distribution of edge loops. So go to the back view and then just align this perfectly to the back and move this one down a little bit too. So control S, don't forget to save. And uh, let's see, move this one a little bit to the back and uh, press F here and control R and move this to align perfectly let's look at how it is so we can move this down control okay, control one to go to the back view and uh, yeah this looks good this looks perfect so you can see where it aligns to so there's a line here that this goes down so just use that to do what you want so control r add two edges here and then first of all do this ones and press f select the ones at the back press F and select everything here and uh, press F so control R in the center and let's see let's see let's see let's move this down a little bit and move the one at the back a little bit more than the one at the front I know why so move this I can't really see what I'm doing so let me turn this off uh, no one has complained about this but I believe it's kind of obstructing the view of everything so let's see so hit these two and press J and hit this two and uh, press J. So now we have that covered. So nothing really much. So now we move on to this uh, curved part here. So we're going to take from here and uh, okay from this one actually. So GG slide it there back. Okay no from here. Don't do that mistake. So GG slide it back and press C and try to align it here. And uh, <clears throat> we're going to extrude one. Okay, hold on. Okay, just do it like this. And then move it back. Let it be a little bit on the back side. Let's arrange this. And uh, extrude one to this side. And then extrude two on the x-axis and move it back. So let's move this one back a little bit more. 
okay so I think we're good so let's extrude this one on the x-axis if you can see what I'm doing okay so extrude that one and this one and then one more and then the last one on the X all the way so let's move this back a little bit Move this one I'm trying to get a clear cut shape of what is actually there so so from here we can see there is a an inclination following the curve on that's supposed to be on this side but isn't for now but we're just going to take everything here and move it um, down downward so take this move it down so let me go to the top view and reduce this one's uh, so let's move it on the x-axis a little bit okay I think that's okay yeah so uh, we're gonna start filling the phases so take these four and press F and uh, deselect these two and then press F and uh, okay refuse to go so just press F here so now we have this control smooth uh, sorry right click and then shade smooth um, so go to the top view and we can just extrude these two to go way to the end and uh, as you can see we need one more vertex here so uh, at the cost of sorry at the risk of having a um, weird shape there so we just add one there if there's a problem we'll see how we're gonna fix it later on so then press F to fill in the last face so control R here and just um, add a, an edge loop so you can just tighten this uh, not supposed to do this right now but it will help to visualize what we have for now so go to the top view um, we can see where this uh, stuff comes in so I believe we, sh we could add um, let's move this out a little bit more and uh, move this down so we could add this um, use the uh, what's it called edge crease tool to you know squeeze this side down uh, some of you are might be wondering if this uh, edge crease translates to others 3d software like when you convert to FBX and import to another 3d software and the answer is yes it does I've tried it and it works so let's do this even when you use it and uh, apply your um, subdivision surface modifier it works it actually translates to whatever I don't know how it does but it works so uh, next we're just gonna add a loop cut here in between these two guys so add this one and uh, let's leave it there for now so we can go to the uh, surface view so GG slide it and then press E once so we can just bring it close to this area we're gonna give it a decent gap in between yeah this looks all right this looks all right it's kind of a lot but it's it's cool it's cool don't worry too much about it so hit the face select and uh, just hold alt and click here or just double click I don't know when I said I using alt so just double click so press X and then delete faces so we good this is what we have here so now we have the uh, fin completed sorry the uh, spoiler completed <clears throat> and that is good we are good so if you've gotten this far you have you should be proud of yourself it's very it's not easy making this kind of vehicle so okay hold on let me quickly hide this old part so uh, it's not easy um, to make this car and most of you have actually gotten this far I'm actually surprised let me just quickly move this to a new collection so uh, let me just name it alt and uh, press ok so we can just hide it permanently from coming out again ok so I think there's an issue here Oh. These two actually joined so let me use the rip tool let me see I've not actually used that before but rip region so let's move this let's move this slightly and yeah 
So we're gonna take this tool back and just try to align it very well. So we good. Okay, that worked. So um, next we're going to. Okay, twenty minutes in. So next we're going to uh, make this extra body panel that is on this side. It's right here and right here so we can see that so in this part we're basically completing every part that has car paint on the outside because this door actually does have it but we're not going to face it right now until we are doing the interior of the car so we're going to take this what is going on here okay let's quickly join this together so we can merge everything here Press M, sorry, select more of it. Press M and by distance. So we've merged 10 vertices and they're not looking happy. So press A and then Shift N to recalculate the normals. These sides aren't joined yet. So select these two and merge at center. So yeah, we good, we good. So now we're gonna uh, extrude some more vertices. So take this one and slide it up a little bit and uh, I think it needs to go back to so GG and then C to bring it to the back and this one to oops this one needs to come back to so we'll just push this right here and uh, okay we will leave that for now I don't really know I'm not really sure where this stops if it's this line or this line but I think it's this one here because that stuff is mostly straight so let's move this back let's try to align it to the line at the back here so the last one GG and then C and move it right here okay so we're going to take this edge that we have here and then extrude all this nope we're going to extrude everything here and uh bring it to the back all the way past here and uh, this one we're gonna move it to this end so right now we need uh one two let's say three uh edge loops in between so we can move them let's select select these ones inside and move them uh a little bit just to achieve a good curve deselect these two and move this one inside so this one now can move can go inside here and here and this one here so now go to the side view and uh, okay so we can have better visuals so let's hide these guys so go to the side view and this is what we have so select everything we just extruded and tampered with so we're gonna move it up to the level of this panel right here so everything goes let's move this one too so move the rest, oops, move the rest of them up and uh, up. So with these uh, these ones on the bottom, we're going to try to achieve the um, wing-like structure on this one here, on also on the side. So let's move this one uh, to be tiny, to you know, or move this down really sure at this point but it looks good kind of looks all right but I don't think it's cool let's try to give it a little bit of curve so these are the kind of things that you would start to use your imagination to you know create the rest of the car because you really can't see those parts most of which you're going to arrange later on it's been almost a year since I made the first the original McLaren so a lot of things I would have forgotten so yeah just bear with me it will all be fine so this part we made is looking pretty nice pretty nice so um nothing fancy here we can just go ahead and cut it right here um hold on let me before we do that let me check what it is attached to okay oh I shouldn't have moved this one it was part of the original one I didn't see that because everything was hidden hope you didn't make too much of a damage so control R here and just move this close to 
the end, select everything and X and delete faces. So we have that completed. So um, in the next part, we're going to just arrange the body panels, make them look good, make them look straight. I don't know if it's going to fit in one part, one video, but uh, yeah, that's what we're doing next, just to make everything look, look nice. Okay, uh, thank you guys for watching, and um, yeah, don't forget to leave a like, and if you aren't subscribed, please do. Most of the people watching my video aren't subscribed, so yeah, it'll be nice if everyone is subscribed. Well, anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.